What's up guys? Today I have a brand new mobile editing tutorial for all of you guys and this one is going to be for a super basic and super clean looking highlight color correction. A lot of you guys have been asking for a color correction tutorial and I know you guys both want both my personal color correction like the brownish darkish one and also my vibrant CC that I use most of my highlights. This tutorial is going to be for the vibrant CC but if you guys do want for my other brown type color CC just comment down below and I'll probably get to that in the future. However, for today, I'm going to show you guys how to make the Vibrant CC, and this one actually, I like do like this one a ton. It's super simple, but it really changes your montages a lot, and I would highly recommend it. Again, I will put a free preset in the description so you guys can just copy and paste the effects from there, but I'm also going to show you guys how to do that in a light motion right now, so let's get straight on right into it. So I'm now in a light motion, and obviously the first thing I'm going to do is make a new project by just pressing the plus, and you guys use any, any resolution you want, of course, but I recommend the max quality or 4K. Just press the green plus at the bottom right, image and video, and add in your clip. I'm going to choose this one right here. As you guys see, there's no color correction on, the, on this clip yet. It's just a regular clip. It's looking a little bit dull and not too bright. So what we're going to do is just click on the clip, add effects, and we're going we're gonna to press add effects, and then we're going to add only two effects. First one is going to be saturation and vibrance. And for the second one, we're going to want to add sharpen. Type that in right here. And here we go. So these are the only two effects we're going to need and in order for them to make a difference we're going to change the sharpen number and of course guys remember that all this color correction stuff is complete personal preference but I'm going to show you guys the settings I found to be good and why I would recommend to you guys. So for sharpen I recommend nothing nothing higher than three because at a certain point it just becomes kind of ugly so I'd recommend anything three and lower and I would recommend something like a 2.5 ish. I thought this looks pretty nice it stands out but it's not overwhelming and it looks pretty cool. Then we're going to go back into saturation and vibrance. And here's where you can definitely play around. This is all personal preference, of course, like I said before. But if you guys see here, you guys can make it super, super saturated, or you can just you can desaturate a little bit. It depends what you guys want. Like if you desaturate a little bit, that's how you guys kind of start getting towards like brownish CC. If you guys want to try experimenting with that, you guys can feel free to do that. But for the CC, I'm gonna show you guys right now. And if you guys don't don't know, CC just stands for color correction. Sorry if I hadn't mentioned that yet. Just go to saturation, and I'll change this up to around 15. This is just my recommended settings. Of course, you guys can change around however you want. You guys can go, if you guys still want a vibrant CC, you guys can go anywhere to like 30%, but I wouldn't recommend going any higher than that. I think 15% is a good medium balance. I would recommend that. For vibrance, this one goes from one to two, and I'd recommend something like a 1.2-ish. Of course, you guys can go higher, but at a certain point, it just looks a little bit ugly, and I would just stick it down at 1.2. So as I just said, you'd only, this, I'll just repeat the steps again, just add saturation, vibrance, as well as sharpen. Change the sharpen value to like 2 to 3, nothing higher than 3. And I'll, I forgot to say this before, but leave the radius the same, that doesn't really matter for the purpose of this tutorial. And then for saturation, vibrance, just change the saturation to anywhere from like 10 to 30%, but nothing higher than 30%. And for vibrance, just it's a scale from 1 to 2, and you guys can just mess around with it, but I would recommend 1.2. So yeah, that's pretty much the end of this tutorial. Very, very simple color correction. And as you guys saw in the before and after in the beginning of the video, it looks really clean and it really does make a difference. So I'd highly recommend adding this to your clips in your next Fortnite highlight. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and found it helpful. And if you did, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe. It really does help me out a ton and doesn't help you guys, take you guys too long to do. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to see you guys in future videos. See you guys later. Everything my life is a movie I'm by Rossi, they all tryna show me But it's all Gucci Flex, my he's shiny, he's a groupie My life got me feeling like I troll me Trolling, yeah, I think my life is a movie I'm by Rossi, they all tryna show me But it's all Gucci